we should talk about the fact that you're going to come out during the G1 climax and announce that you've signed an agreement between GFW and New Japan, and you're going to take the mic and address the crowd and you thank them for their support. And then we do some photo ops. And right after that, an announcement is made for Wrestle Kingdom 9, Tokyo Dome, January 4th, 2015. We would see Tanahashi defeat AJ Styles at the time. He's the IWGP, IWAG, G, I'll get it, IWGP champion, their big belt, if you will. Uh, that's going to be third place in the G1 Climax. And AJ here is the leader of the Bullet Club. And he has the club attack Tanahashi, and that all leads to a Styles clash. And then you show up with Scott Demore and clear the ring. And you and Tanahashi have the bullet club at bay and Scott is having some trouble getting the guitar case open. He finally does. And the guitar says bullet club and you smash it over the, uh, the head of the ACE of new Japan. And here you are a part of another stable. Is this, uh, is this new Japan's idea? A hundred percent. So Conrad, a little, uh, a footnote on this. This was done in a, a um, is a dome stadium, but the window, it was an open air dome stadium, but there were monsoon rains this day. The humidity, I wish we had that little crazy stat. It was, I, we were pouring sweat. But anyway, the ceremony was done very well. Um, and, and, and look, it was a, you know, I was the baby face promoter, if you will. I came out not as a wrestler, suit and tie, as a promoter, launching a new promotion. But the Wrestle Kingdom 9 was kind of the impetus because of things to come. We were going to hire Jim Ross. We were going to put it on pay-per-view. Um, the, it was just kind of the introductory of Jeff, the businessman or the executive, into the brand. And mm. that was the whole premise, if you will. And I knew going over there that I was going to get involved in on some level in a wrestling storyline. I had no idea to this level when I got over there and AJ and doc and Carl and, and I'll call it the rest of the guys, what they had laid out because all I knew was you're going to be doing a bullet club deal. And so uh, I got the guitar made and got the bullet club logo put on the back, but how they had it laid out. To me, it's definitely a top 10 moment in my career. I wow. know Conrad, and here's why the Bullet Club was red hot. Yes. I am a it's hard for me. Look, I'm a huge Nakamura fan, but Tanahashi, when you kind of watch his body of work and the air guitar, and I'm just a I, Yes, I love his work, but I love his character. I love Nakamura's character well. But anyway, to do this angle and and at the height of it and with AJ Styles involved in it, and we've touched on it, Conrad. So think about this. This is October, right? Mm -hmm. Think about where me and AJ were at just nine months ago. Yeah, it's crazy. And you're back together again. And I, th 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 that that's why this whole moment was super special that me and AJ were back together. He is on, I mean, he's on top of the world. I mean, we yeah. really think about what AJ did in that, uh, you know, he was a TNA guy and he went out on his own again, bet on himself Yes, and just didn't succeed. I mean, on the grandest of grandest stages outside of the WWE in such a big way. And for me to get to do this storyline and sure, I had hopes at this time that I get to work with him together. And look, a lot of the, 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 the non-Japanese folks were pulling for me that we need another promotion. They, you know, you can't be in Japan. I know, um, uh, you know, uh, Carl, I don't know how many weeks he was over there consecutively and doc too, but you know, they'd love to get American dates. So a lot of business, but from a personal perspective, but, but to get to do the, the angle, the way we did it. And Conrad, the cool thing was, is that here I come running down and I was out there the segment before two segments before baby face. And I was with the executives in the ring with new Japan. We shook hands and photo ops and golf claps and all that. And then for me to come be running down and I'm saving the top baby face Tanahashi 
you know, for a Japanese audience, okay, there's a big deal. Okay, here's here's our guy. And me and him, uh, and look, it says Scott was having trouble getting it out. I think it was maybe had a little trouble, but I think it was the timing. I had to get ready. And when he handed it to me. Yes, yes, yes. So my back is to Tanahashi's. So t it's like I'm looking one way and he's looking the direct opposite. So they can't jump us. We're back to back. But as we are back to back, but also kind of turning in a circle, everybody on the floor could see my Bullet Club logo. And so the story was, I don't know if they got into the nitty gritty of it is, they didn't even know who I was going to align with until they saw the logo. And when we did one full circle or half circle or whatever it was, then I stepped back and cracked him. And we all got in the ring and embraced, and here we are. And I'm the office member of the Bullet Club, and that was kind of the running joke. It was a, it was a lot of fun, um, a whole lot of fun to do that. Special moment for me.